Hi all, welcome to the Polko Minute, where you hear the latest best practices and news in local government and civic engagement. I'm Angelica Waddell with this week's headlines. Today we explore one of the more hidden pandemics that plagues several communities, especially in trying times, with mental health. In an article for Leadership from the Arena by Strategic Government Resources, clinician Austin Holyfield describes the need for a greater mental wellness focus at the community level. Austin says that community mental health is an effort to provide excellent, affordable, and accessible services to your community. He continues by saying mental health units in police departments shine in this regard. However, one issue is that these efforts are too focused on mental health crises and not enough on mental health maintenance, which is equally important. Austin says community health efforts should not only aim to relieve people from mental health crises, but also to prevent these crises in the first place. After all, our social biology makes anxiety and depression highly contagious so these social dynamics in the community must be considered. Finally, a focus on community mental health is an effort to make the entire community itself, as a whole, mentally healthy. He says not only should individuals benefit from mental wellness efforts by the local government, but also the community as a collective, which is a different approach. In times of disruption and stress, how does your community respond? And collectively, how will you move forward? Especially in these difficult times, evaluating community mental health in your city is tantamount. Let's take a look at the steps you should take next based on your data results from the National Community Survey, also called the NCS. We recently spoke with Michelle Kobayashi, Senior Vice President of Innovation, and Corey porris Plash, Vice President of Strategic Development here at Polco. Both women have decades of experience. They've worked in local government themselves and are thought leaders in community engagement and survey science. They share how local governments can dig deeper into benchmark survey data and establish community priorities through using the Polko platform. In fact, the NCS works with the Polko platform to support a cycle of continuous engagement resulting in consistent improvement. Kobayashi highlights, once you get your data from the NCS, you can then use that Polko platform to crowdsource ideas about solutions or prioritize actions. And in addition to that, the platform can help you dig deeper into various results from the NCS. A very useful tool on the platform is the Polko Library. This library has over 100 ready-made surveys designed by survey scientists. And not only that, but local government leaders will be able to network with Polko experts and other community leaders using the forum Polko Connect. For local governments looking to spend ARPA funds in the best ways possible, Polko partners with the International City County Management Association, ICMA, and the National League of Cities, NLC, for the ARPA engagement package. Does your local government have meaningful collaboration with your community? Polko tools like these may be exactly what you've been looking for to help you go further. Thanks for watching the Polko Minute with me. My name is Angelica Waddell, Director of Communications at Polko National Research Center. Polko makes it easy for local governments to get accurate and reliable feedback from their communities. How are you keeping up with today's engagement issues and trends? Join a panel discussion with other local government leaders and us nationwide. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or send us a note at polco.us slash contact to let us know if you're in. See you next time.